Welcome to Goblins of Io. Really glad you all are here. Thank you so much for joining this. Oh my god, I thought it was Goblins of Low. Well, I've heard <laughs> Goblins of <laughs> I've heard Gobl Goblins of Low, uh, Goblins of Ten. It's uh, it's com it's completely fine. It's completely fine. All right, uh, all right. So I need. Uh, I see you've already taken some liberty with Goblin Jail, and you've drawn everything here, which is absolutely wonderful. Can you all uh, line up in a in a single file line for me? I don't know how to move my guy anymore. I can only draw. <laughs> hey, you, uh, you top left, click it. on the cursor. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. There he is. There he is. I didn't. I didn't know which uh, which order we were gonna go in. But this is perfect. Uh, let's start with uh, Bree. We'll start mm -hmm. from left to right. Mm -hmm. Tell me, uh, introduce your character. Tell me a little bit about your character that you would want other people to know. Okay. Um. Well, her name is Pikel. She stands at three foot tall. She has a giant soup ladle as her walking stick slash staff and. She carries with her a giant jar of pickles. That's oh. all you need to know. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's the uh, yeah. that that's it's the introduction. Uh, yep. Does Pikel live with a family or or, or no. has, has a mate or like what's Pikel's no. living situation? <laughs> um. Well, she was born in the wild, raised in the wild, and uh, doesn't know a lot of uh, common. So. She struggles with speaking, but she gets by, does her best. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, is is Goblin her first language, or she just doesn't speak? No, she's much? just kind of <laughs> kind of doesn't know anything. So, what's uh, what would you say Pikel's uh, day to day would be like typically? Um, well, her day to day would probably be rummaging through trash cans trying to find good food. Mm -hmm, uh, she's mm -hmm. obsessed with food. She's a bit of a glutton, so. Mm -hmm. If she can find good scraps, that is a good day for her. And that's really it. Very simple, easy to please. Since you guys are starting um, in, it, you don't have to memorize these names, uh, but in the continent of Ishtar, over in the southwest, there's a peninsula that not many people go to because it is literally, as other kingdoms and mortal race cities have said, uh, infested with goblins. Um, do you stay in the safeties of the, of the peninsula with your goblin kind, or do you leave to go into like the villages with the humans and elves to rummage through their trash? Mm, she'd probably stick around, stick pretty close to home, but if she felt like she had people to go with, she'd certainly be interested. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Uh, P P is it Piquel or Picol? Yes, it's Piquel. Piquel. Like mm -hmm. fr French a little bit. Yes, Pique yes. Piquel. Um, <laughs> uh, Benji. Hello. Introduce your character. Tell me a little bit about him. Um, this isn't the final art for what he's gonna look of like. Of course. Pretty similar. Of course. Um, red <laughs> eyes, bald head, always smiling. Uh, very, very chuffed with himself. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's called Mottle, um, because he's got like flaky mottled skin. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. But people, people usually just call him Mott. Uh, with two T's. Okay. Um, he considers himself basically the hero of this earth, and he takes on assassination requests or bounties um, uh, without questioning anything. He's very gullible and and uh, and very prideful uh, in what he does. Um, but he's he's a bit of a, a massive ginormous dick, and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he. Uh, He'll take on any request to kill anyone for very, very cheap, really cheap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, 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 what would you say was the cheapest he took to to take a life? A beer. <laughs> not, not a pint, like a, a small beer. <laughs> just, I'm just trying to see where the morality line is right there. All right, so a beer. Okay, all right. You can, so you can pretty much be like, hey, kill that guy. Here's some booze, well, and then you're if good you to go. Convince him. That it's mm. a bad person. He will believe you, and then he will think that he's doing a good thing. So he'll take it for a bit. How easy is he to convince that someone's bad? He's really dumb. Um, so pretty easy. Yeah. If someone said, "I'll buy you a beer," kill that guy over there in the corner. Uh, he's a real bad guy. Would that be enough? 
Uh, he would, he'd consider it, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seeing where the line is. Um, <laughs> tell, uh, does uh, Model have any uh, friends or family? Um, People to call his own? Yeah, he has he has something like that. He does have a handler that, like, basically funnels him requests and takes 99% of the money that's earned from mm. the bounties. And he doesn't know or isn't really aware of that himself, necessarily. Um, but he, yeah, he wouldn't. He's too gullible. Uh, and he thinks he's doing a good thing. So he d <laughs> that's its own reward to him, despite the fact that it's probably not true. Is there anything that you can share right now about the handler, or is that something you'd rather keep hush right uh, now? Hush, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Um, like, can't share, like, race or anything like that? It's just more oh, like... Oh, definitely a goblin. Definitely a goblin, um, okay. Yeah, just a goblin, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll keep it hush for now and, and sort of leave it at that. Uh, I Yeah, that I think that pretty much about covers everything. Thank you so much. It's model, right? Yeah, model. Okay. Tomato. Hey. Introduce your character. Tell me a little bit about him. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Tomato Gaming. Uh, this is my D&D &D character. This is too This is too formal. This is my D&D &D character. <laughs> it doesn't have to be formal. Hey, everyone. Uh, <laughs> You're not on a stage just coming. looking. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fill out the words on an essay. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stretch that runtime. Uh, my character is a goblin bard. His mm -hmm. stage name is the Tumultuous Clerk. Mm -hmm. uh, I picked the most chaotic sounding name I could pick. I could think of. Uh, Clerk. Um, he has been a bard for one week roving the streets. He quit oh. his job at a general store as a janitor exactly a week before this campaign. It's technical it. start. Okay. He's always dreamed of being a professional musician, but he's never played an instrument. And he doesn't know how to pick one and stick to one. So he's just been spending all of his money purchasing pretty much any instrument he sees, thinking it's going to be his next big instrument. Mm -hmm. He's basically a big, if you've ever seen a one man band rig of like a guy like walking around with like the guitar and like the big pile of like mm -hmm. drums mm -hmm. behind him and stuff, you can barely see Clint beneath the pile of like string instruments and just <laughs> trash. It's like nose sticks out. He's bald, uh, pale gray skin, greenish yellow eyes, small, like, th like three mm -hmm. feet tall, like an a average goblin, mm -hmm. I guess. He uh, does not handle money well on account of his obsession with learning <laughs> Obsession with instruments? Obsession with learning instruments. He basically spends his money immediately on okay. instruments. Uh, he's obsessed with it, I would say. I, I would say it's actually one of his greatest flaws is that he would, he would, he would die before he lets an instrument uh, become damaged in front of him. I, would say. <laughs> I say he would probably kill one of his own teammates before letting an instrument get hurt of course. You know, around him. Of course. Um, I also just want to know that this is a, a temporary token until... Yes, this uh, is a temporary token. His official art said. Um, what was the final push to have him quit a gen uh, uh, the go a goblin general store? Like what, Accidental what? big tip. Got a big tip from a goblin coming in to buy something. Accidentally gave him way too much money. He was like, well, this is enough. And then he just walked outside and bought an instrument and quit his job. Immediately spent all the money, burned it all in about two days on a, <laughs> on a drum that was worth most of it. It was what's a large amount of gold in this world? Uh, like a large amount of money. Man, I mean, you're probably looking at if you got like twenty gold pieces or thirty gold pieces uh, on on you, or heck, even if 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 a goblin gave you like a a, a gold or two, I mean, that could last you for quite a bit. That's, that's like a that's like a week or two's worth of living. Seen. Yeah, it was a large tip. I he would, wasn't I, sure why he was giving it, but he immediately ran outside and just bought the first instrument he saw. You was, were unfortunately. <laughs> so um, he spent all of his money on that. Uh, it probably wasn't worth that much money, but he doesn't know that. He just right. wants an instrument. He just wants to become a professional bard. He doesn't. He doesn't care. So you he were, actually has no skills. He doesn't know how to play an actual instrument. I actually didn't take any instrument proficiencies as a bard. I don't know any. I right. Skipped them. You're, you're still figuring it out. I'm still quote, figuring unquote. it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, everyone is level one, so that is fair to say that you're just like, this This is the beginning of your brand new life. Um, probably what happened was, you usually get paid in like copper and silver, and sometimes you'll get a tip of like a couple of copper, but I think probably what happened is someone gave you uh, some gold instead, gold pieces, or if they were really stupid, they might have given you a, an entire like platinum piece or two. And after you saw that, 
That that would make more sense. You would get a platinum or two as silver. silver Exactly. And you saw that and you're just like, that's it. I'm done. Clark didn't understand exactly the exchange rate on that. So he got scammed immediately. (laughs) So he's he's sort of just wandering the streets with nothing now and no job, no real prospects, just trying to make any money he can out of, you know, Mm -hmm. his newfound bard job. Does degrees of success. Does he have uh, any family or, or friends that he calls his own? No. No. <laughs> Not no. at all. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Okay. He worked. He was a janitor at a general store. Uh, gotcha. He's like middle. He's like he's like 34. So sort of the middle of the road for goblins, right? At this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like middle of the road. Yeah, yeah. they're all gone. All, anyone that he did know is dead or dying at this point. You know. Gotcha. All right. That's perfect. Thank you, Tomato. <laughs> It's it's uh, Clurt, right? Clurt. Clurt with an N. Clurt. Yes, the tumultuous Clurt. The tumultuous Clurt. Uh, all right, Brendor. Hey, introduce your character to everybody. All right. Uh, what's up, everybody? I'm Crendor Today I'll be introducing my character. All right, the one, the only Skag Zag. Skag Zag. That is his art. There will no there will not be any commissioned art. That is what he is. Uh, so Is that his history? <laughs> this is how I look. That's him. Thanks for listening. Like Ted uh no, nah, so yeah, Skag Zag is a great guy, kind of. Uh he's very strong mm-hmm. and he's very powerful, mm-hmm. but he's very dumb. Okay. Uh, so that's his biggest weakness is his intelligence and his wisdom and he's very uh, easily persuaded essentially mm. uh, he likes stories he likes telling stories he likes hearing stories he believes in conspiracies and like old wives tales uh, he also works at the circus mm-hmm. uh, he's worked at the circus for many years he mm-hmm. does magic he does uh, crazy stunts. He pretty much just loves anything, any, any anything entertaining. It's so, like mm-hmm. if there's a big explosion or like someone knows how to like juggle knives that are on fire. He'll be like, ah, oh, this person's great. But if there's somebody who's got like no talent, so hate him. Did uh, uh so, did did you introduce your character's name? I actually don't remember if you introduced yeah. his name. Skagzag. Yes. Skagzag the Great. Um. So essentially, he works at the circus. Does he have any uh, friends or family? The circus is his family. Mm, nice. So he's got loyalty to the circus. Yes. What is uh Sk- what is Skagzag's aspirations? Or is is he you live by the circus, you die by the circus? Yeah, I mean he lives and dies by the circus, but his his main goals in life are to meet more people that could join the circus. <laughs> oh my God. So like if he meets somebody and they're like, I can eat like fifty pounds of, you know, whatever in a minute like pickles he'll be like nice dude (laughs) (laughs) winks i love it i love it um i think i think that's it i think that about covers everything that i need to know about skagzag unless there's anything else you'd like to share um no he just he loves anything crazy chaotic uh but he's not like a bad guy right right is he someone so, that gets bored very easily, would you say? Oh, yeah, I'd say he definitely gets bored very easily. Um, uh, but he loves entertaining. So, like, if he can entertain people in, like, creative ways, that's his favorite thing. But he also loves insulting people. But he can also be insulted, right? Like, he can <laughs> – some people can't take it. He can take it and he can give it back. <laughs> Perfect. Um, for those that may not have the uh, the imagination as you do with your your, your character art, uh, describe Skagzag. If you saw Skagzag right. walking down the street, what would he look like? Well, he's got a, as you can see there, a bit of a typical goblin aesthetic, uh-huh. uh, but he does have veins pulsating through his body. Some mm-hmm. people are, you know, curious: is it just how strong he is and his blood flow? <laughs> or is it some sort of like magical energy flowing through him? Really don't know. Uh, he also has one eye bigger than the other. <laughs> <laughs> is the eye like bulging out a little bit, or is it just he just has one eye bigger than the other? That's uh, up for interpretation. 
Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out about that. Uh, so he's walking around. His his veins are constantly like, oh like yeah, he's also pulsing like, out of he him. He does like trapeze shit. Like he swings himself <laughs> around. He's Jack, dude. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know about that part. So he's he's got. Is he? Uh, does he wear a shirt at all, or is he always just showing his like jacked nah, body to everyone? Got, got it. Got some shorts on. Got his staff. Got it's it. one of those things where all the old wizards have their staff like it's a cane or something. He doesn't use it like a cane. He just uses it, but like he's he's not weak by any means. Because he's so strong. Yeah. Uh, is his leg strong or does he have like big torso, tiny legs? No, he's got powerful thighs. Powerful thighs. Okay. Power. Perfect. I imagine. I, uh, what 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 color is is his shorts? Is it like Hulk colored, like purple? Or are we looking at some khakis? Uh, probably it's like beige. Well, mm-hmm. some basic some Rip. basic khakis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like are they cut bag. offs? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're cut offs. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Or are they rip offs? Like they're just like completely like torn at the uh, hem. No, they're just they're tattered. He doesn't care about clothes. He cares about his performance. You know, it's all about the performance in the circus. All right. Exactly. God, I learned so much about Skagzak. Thank you so much for that. No problem. Uh, Jesse, introduce yes. your character. Yeah, hi. Uh, my character's name is Cheezel, and Cheezel is a crazy-eyed, abnormally small goblin uh, with light green skin. You can see his picture. He's he's great. Uh, he is the smallest goblin of his tribe mm. in the Ishtar uplands, and maybe some say in the world. He could be the smallest goblin in the world. <laughs> some non goblins, non I don't know what I'm saying. Some non goblins. <laughs> Have even said he almost looks kind of cute, which to a goblin is gross. Yeah, that's and, disgusting. Um, yeah, he's on a quest to impress the chieftain's daughter and prove that even a tiny boy can be a leader. And uh, he's ruthless. He's cunning. He's a tactical genius. However, he does not speak any goblin. Goblin? Common. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> he doesn't speak any common, but he does speak a form of uplandish gob speak. Ooh. So that is, it'll be tough to communicate with him, unfortunately. Well, I mean, everyone knows Goblin, except it, if you it, it introduce yourself to like, like humans and things like that, they're probably not going to know exactly what you're saying. Um, you or, mentioned or the Cubans. <laughs> what? <laughs> What you uh you mentioned you're trying to win over a, a chieftain's daughter, um right. So there there are a a couple of chieftains because there's so many goblin tribes and goblins over here. But then there's also the one guy that leads them all, who's named the bigger boss, um, who is essentially an ogre. Uh, that all the goblins call. Uh, you guys used to have someone named Da Big Boss, uh, but he was a bugbear that got killed by an ogre, and now there's Da Bigger Boss, which is the ogre. <laughs> are you trying to win over the heart of a goblin chieftain, or are you trying to win over the heart of Da Bigger Boss, which would, at that point, be an ogre? I don't care about anyone but this chieftain's daughter, and it's not the Bigger Boss. I don't need, I'm not after, like, an, an ogre girl cute but like i'm so tiny right I'm so tiny right i'm just all i want is the my chieftain's daughter yes to at least acknowledge how awesome i am mm -hmm. compared to all these other goblins would you say she has in the past or no uh yes but it's you know she clit look he's very very cute mm -hmm. however it's you know he's the tiniest of all the gobbies right and none of the goblins want to you know they won't want to get with him he's so tiny He's very small. Would you say Cheezel acknowledges that he is small, or does he not view himself that way? Uh, unfortunately, Cheezel does not acknowledge this, for he has a big spirit and <laughs> and a cane twice his size, which he mm. uses to bop his enemies. Uh, yeah, he claims that this giant cane that he has is from a wizard that he murdered in battle and then stuck the wizard's soul inside the cane, but there's never been any evidence of this. But goblins just tend to believe it because it's got cool flames drawn on the side of it, and that's pretty badass. <laughs> and goblins have acknowledged that this is badass, yes? All of them. It, goblins everywhere. Every goblin acknowledges this is the most badass thing they've ever seen. 
Such all a... goblins. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. like a threat. Are you us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, all goblins <laughs> acknowledge the badass oh, nature God. of this staff. All right, it all right. is truly yeah. badass. <laughs> okay. Uh, does Cheezle have any uh, friends or family that he acknowledges or... Uh, he acknowledges his tribe and his people of the Ishtar Uplands, his little mm -hmm. gobby upland people. But mm -hmm. they're like, they're backwards. These aren't city goblins. These are these are goblins in like the dank caves and forests. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like the almost like a lot of these the goblins. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, and I, geez, I think I think that about covers it. We know exactly what you're trying to do. We know your background, and uh, yeah, okay. That's it. That's all the all the goblins. Amazing. Uh, everyone seems absolutely fantastic and wonderful, except for one of you. Except one of you are, is about to be voted off right now. <gasps> no. <laughs> you are the weakest link. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Mm-hmm. All right. Woo. I'm gonna load. Woo. Are you patting your belly? <laughs> oh, <class. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh All right. I'm loading in some things. Hold on one second. I also have to make sure I get your tokens out and then give you all vision so you guys can see exactly. What I'm going to miss this prison cell. Mm, good you just saw this mess you guys made, too. I don't know yeah, how to remove it. This prison cell. You, uh, you guys will be back. You guys will be back. Um, all right. So, uh, starting, I'm going to. Hmm, how can we do this? Because obviously, you're not a party yet. Uh, the scene that we're going to set right now is the Goblin Circus is in town. It's in the area. It's got a lot of uh cool, fancy, uh, like shows and stands. Uh, you can go ahead and get some great food. And it's just a bunch of goblins in this part of like. The little goblin town that you guys have been traveling either traveling through or perhaps that you live in um is celebrating this right now so i'm what i'm gonna do is before i get the map up i'll just show you the map here let me let me get your tokens out and then we'll we'll figure out what how you guys come in i'm giving i've dragged everyone out I'm giving everyone vision right now. And then we are going to set the mood with a little bit of this. You're in like a, a little bit of like a, a swampy jungle. And boom. Whoa. If you want to right click and move around the map a little bit, Ooh. I have. So let me let me let me show you some some spots that you guys can look at right now. Hold on, let me show you where. Oh yeah, and then real quick, totally forgot. I just need to set this. There you go. So you guys can like move around. Uh, this has some dynamic lighting. So as you guys are like moving that's around, fancy. yeah, nice. yeah, you can see stuff that's hidden and things like that. Um, so to set the scene, I'm gonna play some music real quick. Gets you in the jovial mood <laughs> of the yeah. Goblin Circus. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. There are a lot of great things happening here because the Goblin Circus right now is is popping off. We've got a uh, little warg pup salesman that's right over here. If you want to go ahead and try and train some warg pups, uh, we have this suspicious vendor who's simply known as the Sting Vendor. Uh, we've got a little fun little mini game over here. You just see like a table filled with puffer fish. Uh, and a giant wooden stage where uh, some people of the circus will be performing a variety of their uh, their tasks. If you're interested in potentially going up on stage, 
or joining the circus, all you have to do is speak to the ringleader who is right over here. The ringleader, of course, has his um, his bodyguard, which is a half ogre by the name of Dungo. And uh, yeah, I'm assuming Krendor. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, Skagzag like all over here already uh, uh, about not about to perform, but like preparing to perform. Let's right. start the scene with you a little bit. So the circus is just set up all the as you see, all the gobblers are coming out. They're about to have a real good time. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. How well do I know Dungo? Uh, you you probably know Dungo since you work with the circus. And then All the right. ringleader over here, he's just sitting there looking for some new talent. All right. Uh, I'm just like, uh, let's see, which voice do I go with? <laughs> uh, Putting you on the spot. Yeah. Well, let me, uh, going through his book all right yeah <laughs> well, i'm just going through the book of voices real quick <laughs> all the... right i got it yeah it is don't go no it's, it's, it's all, it's, don't go. Yeah, it's, all right i got it down yeah, okay don't go. <laughs> yeah new goblins coming in no. <laughs> yeah that's what I said. New goblins. The last place was terrible. Goblin. He just walks over to you. That's what I'm saying. New goblins. The last place we're in. They couldn't even do anything. That one guy tried to cast a fireball and it killed his entire family. Kind of sad, but, you know, he did it to them. This voice is perfect for this picture, by the way. I just want to make sure that we are well aware of that. <laughs> um, he wa he'll walk up to you and uh, just give you a heavy pat on the head and just say, Goblin. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. Show? Yeah, I'll do the show, but I want people to be here. Unlike that other time where there was nobody. The town here sucks! says the uh, ringleader who's just sitting back behind this little, like, camp right over there. I don't know. We haven't even seen it yet. Ah. Skagzak, go up there and I don't know. Give him a dance or something. I'll dance when I want to dance. <laughs> ah! And he kind of, like, pulls out a dagger at this point. You'll dance when you I wanna... tell you to dance! You want to fight again? Because I'll fight. Uh, and he puts his dagger back and remembering what happened the last time you guys fought. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, can everyone do me a favor <laughs> and roll a 1d20 by simply ro typing slash roll and then space 1d20 or roll d. Yeah, perfect. Who's the highest here? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Um, all right. Tomato. Hey. You so, have um, you've just arrived at the at the circus. Let me go ahead and, and, and move you over here so we can get over to your token. Okay. I'll scatter everybody else around here. But yeah, you've uh you've just arrived. Um how would how how would you say a circus would intrigue Clurnt? This might be his big chance. His, his this big break? Be, this might be, he's been practicing for a week, about five minutes per <laughs> instrument. This might be his chance to get up on a stage and get his name out there. I think he'd try to find the ringleader and uh, try to see if he can maybe get a, get, a, get a solo act of some kind. Or maybe even put into like, I mean, circuses have like bands and stuff, don't they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think he'd be trying to find someone to get in on like some sort of musical thing, like either a, a, an act or into like the band that you'd want to find the ringleader or something. Okay. Um, so I would say at this point, um, you know that you would head north, but you are free to kind of like, if you decide to, you can look around at all the other stalls or you can literally just march straight towards the ringleader to the north. I mean, or I'll take a quick little stroll up here. Take a look at these like dogs. Mm -hmm. These like dogs. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they're, uh, they're, yeah, canine is the best way to describe it. Uh, wargs are essentially like goblin dogs, and these are pups. Um, right, right, right. 
usually a warg or as goblins call them warg with the w-a-r-g because that's the sound they make um they're typically the size of a horse but since these are pups they're now the size of well the size of you and uh yeah the warg tamer's over here and he just he's smiling a little bit are you looking to buy uh i don't really how, how much are they well, how much you got uh, I got, um, I don't have, do you barter? Yeah, I guess. You got something of value? I got this, he just starts pulling stuff out of his pockets. I got this, uh, it's like a case for like a harmonica. Like just like apps, at, like it's storage units for instruments, like a case for right. instruments. It's already on his back. It's like fucking <laughs> drops a case for like an oboe on like the counter. What about this here? Uh, so what, the case? Yeah, just the case. I, Not, I gotta keep this thing. The elbow's on his back. And then he, uh, as you're talking, he, he, he's looking at you in a in a suspicious and and weird manner. You, you can't exactly put your finger on it, um, but you can try to come to a conclusion if you'd like to make a insight check. Oh, I would love to make an insight check to come to the conclusion on why this guy is looking at me. Allow me. To do okay. that roll right now once I find where it there it is. There it is. <laughs> I um, get a bad feeling. Yeah. So for the six, you're not entirely certain, but he, he's 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 eyeing you up and down, specifically in the, the facial area. But he uh you're not certain what he's looking at exactly. Listen, so uh is this uh, are we are we coming to an agreement here? Is can I is this a trade that you're interested in, or should I be moving on? How, how, how do you like your teeth? In. In. I like them in. So, in my okay. mouth still. All right. So, so they're not on the table is what you're saying. Well, what? what molars? What about what about molars? No, 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 no. I, 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 want, I, want, I want the sharp pots. No, I, 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 those ones ain't for sale. I can do a wisdom tooth at best. Uh, all right. It doesn't have to be your teeth, but if you can give me like, I don't know, like ten teeth, yeah, I'll sell ten, you a pup. Sure, what the hell? Ten whole teeth? Yeah, but they can't be molars. Uh, well, it depends on the quality. Yours are a little. Eesh. Well, fine. Jeez, I'll, I'll I'll see what I can do. When does the circus come out? Leave town. What? Well, we'll be here for a couple of days. All right. All right. All right. He's never coming back here. <laughs> <laughs> never, he, has, he, he realized as soon as he was asking for teeth that this was not like a trade he was ever going to be able to do. This is, Clint's not a naturally bad guy. He's not He's not a bad guy. He's a he's an idiot like many of the people, it seems, in this party. But he's not a bad guy. So he's, I don't think unless he stumbles upon teeth, he's going to be finding teeth. Like a bag of teeth uh, somewhere in the jungle. It's going to have to be a bag of teeth or someone's going to have to be dead on the ground already. And he's going he'd go into those teeth. Right. And he keeps looking for the ring, the ring leader. The ring, okay. The ring leader. Um. All right. So you you would march uh, north. You would get uh, closer to that. Um. Before we see how that interaction goes, uh, let me see what the next roll, highest roll is. Uh. It looks like if unless I'm mistaken, uh, Jesse. Yeah. So at this point, I would say Cheezle comes wandering in. I'll put him right there for you, and Excellent. and move over there. So, so Cheezle, did did does does uh, Cheezle have any interest in the the circus or anything like that, or carnival or some sort of entertainment? Is there any place that looks like it sells food? Yes, there is. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, you would go over to. Over here, you see uh, to the east a stand with pufferfish and what appears to be some kind of fried meat. You're, you're uncertain what it is from this distance. Yeah, uh, Cheezle and his uh, ridiculously large staff wander over to the to the meats and pufferfish and begin to sort of look them up and down. How's it going? You hungry? You, you want to play a game? And then all this goblin does, and he looks like he has a bunch of, like, boils all over his face. All this goblin does is motion over to what appears to be an archery target. 
Cheezle looks at the archery target and then looks at the other goblin and uh, then looks down at the food bits and says, Cheezle have lusty eyes for numb bits. <laughs> yes. He, uh, <laughs> I like this is the direction. He, he nods at you very slowly and goes, uh huh. Okay. Uh, I got some numb bits, I guess. And he motions over to the chunks of meat. Fried toad. Fresh from the swamp. Yes, yep. yes. Cheese and eat blowfish for sun upsies. Good new twist. Eh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, it's made fresh right over here. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you hungry? Yeah. Gob so hungry. Do you have, uh, you got gold? No shinesies. Mm. But big sticksies. He looks at the stick. That's pretty badass stick you got there, kid. You give cheese in? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you selling the stick? Sell stick? No busy deal. Only take numsies. Okay, all right. Uh, but what you got on you? I can't, this ain't a charity. I can't just give you this. Cheezle want no busy deal. Cheezle take the numsies. Okay. At this point, <laughs> he, he's kind of getting a sneaky suspicion of what's happening here. Uh, and he uh, kind of like holds on. He moves a hand over to a puffer fish that's sitting there. And he just kind of like grasps on. And then he pulls out what appears to be just a jagged piece of metal and then slams it down uh, on, on, the, on the bench. And he says, you ain't taking nothing, kid. Now, why don't you go ahead and scram if you ain't going to do business here? I make you back for a crack brain case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put this interaction on pause for just a second. <laughs> I was... Needless to say, I was prepared for a goblin to attack another goblin. Um, I, uh, Benji. Hello. Model comes strolling in onto the scene, arriving at this beautiful, uh, this circus, uh, carnival of entertainment. Uh, what yeah. would you say, uh, Model is? What, why? Why? What? What? What would Model do in a in a carnival or or a circus? What's his 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 interest here? Right. Well, Mottles actually met Pikal um, recently. Oh, okay. Um, if you guys want to come together, trying, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to find where Pikal's from or what Pikal is or uh, doesn't really know entirely. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so he's just trying to fuck. It. He's just following and figuring it out. Um, thinks maybe it'd be a place to leave her off. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, well, the two of you wander into this this bustling sound. You just hear goblins chattering away. Uh, you mm -hmm. hear a bit of commotion at, over at a food stand over to the east where two goblins apparently are screaming at each other about food and brain cases. Uh, what are you two doing at this point? Um, I guess Mottle would turn to Pickle and say, Blimey, Pickle! <laughs> yeah, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was secretly Blimey. hoping see for any, this. You, see anyone you know? She's gonna scan the circus, uh, holding her pickle jar in both of her arms. It's huge, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then as her eyes drift to the left, they light up as she sees the work stand, and she just darts off without saying anything. Oh, I guess I got my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how you doing, little girl? You you, you wanna you wanna warg? You looking for a warg? It's family. It's family. The, he looks at the uh, warg. Uh, looks at himself. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're getting at. I don't have any kids. Uh, gov, gov, listen, listen. <laughs> you're not gonna get anything out of her, mate. I've been trying for a week now. 
Pico's gonna shove the pickle jar in your arms and get up on the table next to the work. Awesome. <laughs> All right, can you get your kid down or something? Or like, what? Uh... That is not my kid. I'm actually trying to figure out what exactly is going on. <laughs> She's uh, she's gonna be on all fours, like kind of growling at the warg, like playfully trying the, to communicate. With it. Uh, the warg also growls back. Um, with this interaction, I would say make an animal handling check. Fourteen. The warg has taken to you with your growl, oh. and uh, kind of at this point, now that you're on the stand, uh, jumps up and gives you uh, a big lick on the face. Oh, oh. Pico's just smiling really big and uh, looks back at Mottle and is gesturing back and forth between her and the warg trying to communicate. <laughs> is, is this it, Pickle? Is this where you come from? She just nods. <laughs> She's not knowing what he's saying. I'm, I'm going to turn to the guy. I, I, I think she likes him. Yeah, I think she does. I think this might be... Do you know her? Huh? No. Do you... You don't know her. He looks like he looks scared, like you're about to like ask for like alimony or something. He's like, no, <laughs> I don't know her. What? No. <laughs> Listen, she she done me a solid, mate. She she saved my life, actually. But okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to deal with her? Yeah, I, I'm the. the I'm, going on, Pickle gets down and is like tugging at your uh, your shirt and saying, "Is is come with? Is work come with?" Yeah, she Mate. likes she likes the pup, and you know if you want to go ahead and like pay her back or whatever for saving your life, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, it, let me see your teeth. Open wide. Come on. <laughs> I don't. I'm not really accustomed to this tradition. Uh, okay, <laughs> hey, that's fine. What about her it's teeth? Okay, I respect it. I respect it. I'm a good. I'm a good man myself. So does she need all her teeth? Does she need all her teeth? Is what I'm asking. Mate, if you've seen the amount of those pickles she could put away, she definitely does. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll open my mouth. Uh, oh, ooh. you take good care she of those? And uh, mimics. She doesn't know what's happening. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, I think at that point he'll look at Pickle's mouth. Would you say uh, Pickle has not good teeth from all the pickles that have been consumed? The She's salty brine. Teeth, yeah, yeah, they're not okay. the best teeth in the world. Ooh, uh, okay, uh, well, you, and he's pointing over at a model at this point, you got some good teeth. Uh, you want to, like, I don't know, fork over like 10 of them or something? You can have the pup. 10, wait, you want 10 of my teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I don't even know how many teeth I have. I have more than 10. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to pensively really think about that. <laughs> How much is, do, do these have a gold value? Can I can I transition from tooth to gold? Oh, you got gold? I think I do, yeah. <laughs> I see it. Uh, how do I know how much gold they have? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go ahead and find out how much gold I have. Well, let's see how much gold. It, it should be a, a little token, like in the part of your inventory. Um, so um, let me okay. check real quick at this point uh, to see how much gold you I have. I think we start with five. I have five, I think. I think my background gives me a little bit of gold there. Ah, nice. <laughs> Okay, I've got a lot you, of stuff, apparently. You have ten <laughs> gold. Oh, wait, no, that's Cheezle. Just kidding. I was looking at the wrong character. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I hope I don't let you down with the answer I'm about to give you. You have 15 gold. You've got some Ooh. money. Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, hold out my 15 gold pieces and show him. And then I'm going to withdraw my hand just to, like, you know, flash the cash. His uh, oh. eyes open wide and go, that's uh, some rich guy, eh? Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'm going to look at my fingernails, which are just a fucking mess. And <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty rich. Uh, <laughs> how much for the walk? Uh, what, what you just showed me is good. No, I just showed you everything, mate. That's all I have. <laughs> Man's got to eat. Uh, all right. Uh, hmm, uh, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> they said fuck off. <laughs> 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 fuck off. <laughs> which, which is totally normal for goblins. Uh, I think at that point, he would just be like, uh, okay, let me see it again. But, like, let me I'm count it kill. this time. 
I'm gonna take out five gold pieces and hold them in my hand. Pika okay. will unscrew her pickle jar and uh, take out a pickle and slam it down on the table as well. Oh, uh, yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> you. It take it's... pushes it towards you. And uh, at that point, he, like, he lets it fall off the table. Like he doesn't even grab it. He just, just scramble under the table and grab it. Hey, hey, hey. Get me behind the desk. <laughs> Can't like, waste that. Stops his foot around a little bit as you're like trying to grab this pickle. And he's like, hey, hey. Uh, uh, go ahead and make a deception check. I know you're not trying to. De- well, you might be trying to deceive at this point. Um, make a deception check. Um, model. Oh, model. Oh. Yeah. Deception. For the well, you showed him all the gold, and then you showed him less gold. So okay, oh, yeah, no. my. He's like, that's that's Press not, but one. but that's not all of it. I thought there was more of it. Yeah, what? there is more of it. <laughs> like, but I don't want to give you all of it. Okay, can I get like a little more than that though? Just, I mean, these are pops here, you know. You, you all get right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold out my hand, um, face down, and 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 see if he holds his hand out to to receive gold. Um. Yeah, absolutely. Why wouldn't he? He holds out his hand immediately. This is going to be a great transaction. Uh, I'm going to drop six gold into his hand. Uh, like, like one more? Can we do like one more? Um, all right, mate. All right. All right. And then I'm going to take out one piece, going to place it on his hand, and then use my other fingers to try and slight of hand another piece back. So it's still do it. six. Do it. Do it. Let's see that check. Uh, he nods. He's like, "Now you're being amicable," and then he just kind of like puts it in his pockets without even counting. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, hey, uh, hey, uh, little girl, hey, here you go. And at that point, he just uh, he, these are like chained up to the tent. He just unchains oh, one of them, and they just oh. it just runs around over to you. Oh, yay! She's gonna pet it and uh, and look really thankfully at Mottle. Hey, what are you going to name it? And at this point, the name up, uh, naming screen pops up. You get to name the org at this point. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Pop. <laughs> pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awful water pressure. I'm glad I didn't give him my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 just, uh, I think the only thing she would know to call it is either, like, puppy or dog. <laughs> wolf. Uh, Let me know what name it is. Wolf. There you go. All right. Let me just go ahead and wolf. Now that's my kind of naming. <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> my name. Um, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> you just, you now have responsibility. Here you go. Awesome. And thank you for playing. You will notice now in your journal. You have a you have the character Wolf in with you, and you can control him now. Yeah, awesome. Um, so just just coming back up to here. Uh, at this point, Tomato and Crendor, Skagzag, you're still yelling about the, the, the to the ringleader because he wants you to get up, and he he keeps saying get up there and dance, which you, I don't know if that's something you do or don't do. Either way, that's what he keeps yelling at you to do. Um. At this point in time, Clurnt, you have now begun to approach the uh, the ringleader's booth, and you just kind of see these this giant half ogre, very overweight, and these two goblins arguing with each other. Uh, one of them has pulsating veins and seems jacked. Oh my god! Well, I I sort of loudly clamber over. I got a lot of like instruments here, and a lot of them are brass, so you hear like a lot of like banging and fucking like and shit as I like hobble over I just yell is there a ringleader around here and he whispers to uh Skagzag he's like oh, no, wait a minute we might have someone uh yeah oh, uh, over here uh, right over here over here yeah hey hey uh you hiring I'm a musician you hiring any new ex yeah, what you what what can you play? I, I, and he points over at like the like some of the, the items that you have. Like? I got harmonicas. I got this thing. I got whatever this is. Makes this sound. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I don't fucking know. You ask it, I got it. I'm a jack of all trades. I can do it all. And you can play all of those. Oh, I can play all of them. You you hired. <laughs> excellent, excellent. 
Flirt has never been happy. <laughs> this is great. All right. So when do I when do I go on? What do I do? Yeah, right now. And he puts right now. over the stage. I, uh, I see him walking towards, and I'm like, oh, wait, who's that? who's this guy? Uh, he's a trained musician. He can play every instrument. Every well, how do you know that? At, look at him and he's pointing at like everything he, he points at everything that you have that you just showed off he wouldn't have that if he couldn't play it obviously did, skag did you hear him play it i also dabble in singing ah. <laughs> all right you know oh. what let's have him get up get up on the stage okay i hobble i hobble up onto the all stage right, it takes right. me a little bit because like it's pretty heavy the suit the whole uh -huh. deal i've got i get up there so, uh, do you have any, like, specific requests? Or you just want me to sort of freestyle? Just it, play I... whatever you like. Yeah, what go ahead and feel. play whatever you like. Just, uh, up on the, look. Uh, yeah, up on the stage over here. And he motions over to this, this area. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. don't suck. Yeah, if you suck, I'm afraid you, they're gonna shank you. You got it, man. You got <laughs> it. You got a piece of cake. I, I've been telling them we were gonna do something, like, hours ago. They're getting pretty angry. You, Yo, don't you worry for a second, sir. I'm, I've got this all under control of professional. I am sweating a lot. I, I didn't, I wasn't prepared for like a death threat, basically. He did this wrong. So he's going to start to pull. Uh, Finally! Fire off fireballs into the sky like fireworks and be like, come on, come on. See the, the musician. Uh, you see dazzling lights exploding up in the air. Um, at that point in time, uh, we're gonna go back to this, this lovely little, uh, this lovely little scene right there. Um, uh, he, yeah, so he's got his weapons drawn, um, um, Cheezle. <laughs> You've got your weapon ready to go. He's like, look, I ain't giving you the food for free, so pay or bugger off. Cheezle, smash and smack every self out of <laughs> At this point, I will ask, uh, do you smash? Uh, yes. Cheezle holds his staff in, above and says, uh, Doom! My Cheezle hands, Cheezle end makes! And I swing. <laughs> All right. We will count that as a surprise round. Are you attacking the table or are you attacking the uh, the vendor? I'm attacking uh, the tables where the food is. I'm not yeah. going to attack that. <laughs> so you, I'm going to say, yeah, you you kind of do like this leaping jump over the table, keeping the food intact, and you give him a smack. Uh, please roll initiative as combat has now begun. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Faster than the human eye. All right. <laughs> this is a surprise round since you have initiated, so we haven't we haven't gotten into the initiative order yet. Uh go ahead and make your attack roll. Alright. Do I have any special surprise abilities? Uh nope. Uh the your surprise ability at this point would be just Attacking, or if you want to rage, because you're a barbarian, right? I uh, yeah. You can you can start up with a rage if you'd like. And that's plus two melee damage with strength weapons. Yep. Okay, I'll do it. I am <laughs> I'm, I'm enraged. <laughs> uh, give me your uh, rage cry, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah. All right. All right. Great. It's good. Solid. Solid. Um, Thank you. Go, uh, go for the attack. Okay. And old wizard staff. That. Oh, hold on. I accidentally deleted. Um, I actually believe. Oh, that that misses. As you see, the goblin kind of like duck. He ducks at that point as you like slam at the ground, and he peeks up holding the jagged metal in one hand and a puffer fish in the other. Um, initiative has now begun. So uh, it's your turn again. You may attack. You smack with the staff and you and you hit. You land a, a, a true blow against this puffer fish vendor for looks like seven points of damage. Yes. All right. 
he gets this giant whelp on his head. Uh, this goblin over here is just looking on like he was like leaning back in a chair and then he like leers over the table and goes, oh, this is going to be good. And then he just leans forward as he watches the fight. Uh, all the other goblins in the circus, you notice, um, business as usual. No one really is like trying to clamor over or stop. In, in, not like civilized society fights that like this happen with goblins all the time so um i will say that pickle uh-huh uh and uh model modal model sorry um uh -huh. you guys hear a fight break out over at the food stand <laughs> what okay. what do the two of you do uh do you wanna... oh, sorry, go. oh no you first go ahead you want to check this one out, Pickle? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's he's not... one of your kin? Pickle family? <laughs> yeah, could be. Pickle go? Uh, shall I... I'm going to pick up her pup in two hands and just follow her. Uh, the pup growls at you. Please make an animal handling check. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will calm down the pup if I notice that, like, growling. Uh, well, he, the, oh, the, oh. My help. <laughs> the pup growls a little bit and then accepts you as part of his, uh, his little, little mini pup family and, uh, accepts. Oh. So now he's friendly to you and Pico. Oh, there's a good boy. Come on. Uh, yeah, by the way, up. picking him up is pretty impossible because he's literally your size. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm pretty strong. Should I make a strength check or something? Uh, what can On you? Ooh. Oh yeah. You... Go ahead and make a strength check. Okay. And I do that by. He's literally. Well, wait. You're you're small, right? Everyone's small. Um, oh. I it's would dare. I would actually say the dog is bigger than you, because he's actually counts as a, a medium-sized creature. Wait, but he's not a puppy. Oh, that is that is a pup size. That's, <laughs> That's the puppy for a wolf. Right? That's the yeah. They they're, they they grow at the size of horses. Yeah, it, like oh, wow. like a mount for yeah. our oh, size. Shit. Right, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yes. You could go ahead if you want to train him as a mount. He could be a mount for you. Absolutely. Wow. That's not happening right. now, though. Um, well, but I'm yeah, the try on my shoulders. <laughs> anyway, uh, you go. All right. So first of all, I need the two of you to roll initiative because you're about to enter into a dangerous situation. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, Pico. <laughs> no. uh, Did that work? It. Make sure your token is selected. I'm sorry. Should no, you're I, good. Should I do it again? Yes, please. Hey, Ooh. you got a better roll anyways. Um, model, you spent your turn trying to, like, get underneath this war, this warg pup to lift him up. Um, and he just kind of just, since you got the animal handling right, he just is just, it's just sitting there. He's not moving at all. Um, and at one point, he lays down uh, literally with you underneath as you are now pinned by the warg. I'm gonna say I'm just gonna like embarrass look at the dude and just say I was just trying to give him a belly rub, please. Oh, and I'm he, crushed. he uh he shrugs, he's like, Your problem now. Um so next up <laughs> uh is going to be the pufferfish vendor who will um disengage as a goblin, so does not provoke an attack of opportunity, and throw a puffer fish straight at your face. Does a 21 hit? Which I believe it does. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so you will take. Let me see if this actually works or if it's broken. It's broken still. Cool. Oh, uh, God! <laughs> you get hacked. You take five points of piercing damage um, as the pufferfish's poison begins to seep into your body. Please roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, oh my God. Jesse. <laughs> You're good. You, you're good. You you shrug out the poison. <laughs> uh, Pickle, it is now your turn. Okay. How far? Can I dash? But... Yes, you can. Oh, I still won't even get close. Oh, poor Pickle. Oh, <laughs> Just man. Running, running, running with, with jar. Pickle Jar. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, she would be get as close as she can. So, 
here. Okay. Here. Yeah. Perfect. Cheezel, it's your turn. Yeah, Cheezel uh, holds back his staff again and says, It's hard times for you, Flappy Tongue! No more tomorrow days! And, uh, Love it. Again. Okay. Uh, you'll have to get into oh. melee range if you want to move your token. I said, oh. <laughs> That hits! Uh, for eight points of damage. Uh, and then, technically, isn't it nine since I'm two-handing? Oh, you're doing two-handed? Then yeah, it's nine points yeah. of damage. Um, and as you go for the strike, he goes, oh, and then he literally falls down unconscious. <laughs> God. Yeah, Chisel looks at him and looks at all of the food on the table and says, I take all tasty fish. And he goes <laughs> over and just starts, like, pulling the fish apart but in a way that avoids the the poison as he has been poisoned and now knows from experience. Um, so with the puffer fish, let me let me let you know a um, couple of things that you can do. Uh, you have the the fried chunks of meat upon a closer identification. Uh, you uh, acknowledge as frogs. They are cooked fro They are cooked frogs uh, in a variety of cooking, essentially. Um, well done, medium well and medium rare. If you consume a, well, actually, hmm, should I go and make an insight check? And if you roll high enough, I'll let you know what they do. Okay. Oh, insight. Oh, insight. Oh. Perfect. Uh, consuming a well-done frog will heal you for one hit point. Consuming a medium well will heal you for 1d4 hit points, but you have to roll a d20, and on a roll of one, it will poison you because the frogs are poisonous, and a medium rare frog will heal you for 2d4, um, but you have to roll a d20, and if you roll three or lower, uh, the frog will poison you. For the puffer fish, uh, yeah, go ahead. No, no, please continue. Uh, for the puffer fish, you can try to take them apart to try and get some some meaty goodness, which will, will, will involve some checks on your uh, part, but at an advantage because you are aware of their poison aptitude. Um, but you can actually use them as ranged weapons, 2040, and if they hit, um, they can poison your targets. There's three puffer fish remaining on the table. Uh, Sheezle does not see these as weapons. They are delicious morsels. They are delicious I'm food. I'm to try and eat of these three puffer fish. <laughs> Are you oh just, God. are you, yes. how are you eating the puffer fit? Just going, going at it raw? Are you waiting, are you trying to like take out what you think is the poison? No, he like smashes it with his club, uh, with his staff, <laughs> and then he sort of burst open and then he picks out the pieces. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, Pico, you have now approached uh, what appears to be a very tidy goblin, uh, smashing puffer fish as he consumes the raw bits of the flesh, trying to avoid the poison bits. Mm, she's gonna cock her head to the side, like watching curiously. You gobby friend! And I push one of the <laughs> smashed fish in your direction. Oh, it's for free? Yes, it's good, <laughs> good fish! <laughs> All right, she would take it and uh, and first open her pickle jar and dip it in the pickle juice and Ooh. then eat it. Okay, uh, please roll a 1d20 to determine if this random f fish flesh oh, is right. actually poisonous or not. Oh my god! It is absolutely poisonous. You are eating salted poison. <laughs> you are consuming salted poison. Uh, please make a constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> You're good. The, uh, it stings a bit, but the salty brine of the fish uh, makes for an excellent delicacy. Your stomach right. kind of gurbles a little bit, but it's good, uh, and it heals you for two hit points. Oh, nice. Boom spice, yes! Yum, yum! Her, her eyes are, like, welling up, and she's naughty, like, <laughs> uh, Model, at this point in time, uh, the warg would have gotten up to, like, shake around a little bit of the dirt, and you're able to get back up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush all the, the mud and, and possibly <laughs> crap from the floor on me, uh, off me, even. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and follow along to pickle. Is this okay. out of initiative and, and stuff now? Yep, we're out of initiative. The uh... okay, I'll just follow along. Oh jeez, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hello, pickle. What'd you say? It's for free. 
and gestures to the uh, fish on the table. Hello, uh, Gov. Bottle, you see an unconscious goblin uh, <laughs> laying there, his head spitting, uh, with smashed fish over on the table. And uh, okay. Pickle, of course, hand covered in brine, uh, consuming this raw fish. She's going to wipe the brine off on Mottle's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Do I notice? <laughs> I mean, she's not being coy about it. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a, a pin on this and head back over to uh, what is going to be, hopefully, the greatest performance of all time. Oh, my God. As yeah, the... Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, oh, I, I was going to say at this point, you actually see what appears to be fireworks uh, shooting off over in the northwest towards where the giant stage is. Um and I'll, I'll, but I'll put a pin right there for it. Uh, the, r the ringleader kind of walks by and goes, "Yeah, Sky, that was, that was good. That was good. It's gonna get the, bring them all there. We're gonna need everybody here. This guy's gonna give the bet. He can play every instrument and he can sing. Whoa! That and he just shrugs a little bit. <laughs> At this point. The, the, the ringleader just kind of like climbs up on the stage as a child would on a counter and move over and he's like uh, ladies and gentlemen cops we got for you a real treat here uh hey what's your name kid uh the tumultuous clerk the the what <laughs> he just looks clerk. like <laughs> uh, we it's got the, okay it doesn't, it doesn't we matter. got the tumbly clerk here and he's got a real special <laughs> gift for you uh he's gonna play uh something and he's got a real good singing voice he told me himself i know you've been waiting for like three four hours i said i got something real special here he is so uh yeah okay take it away Just clerk have him play the instrument Okay, yeah, yeah, Skag, shut up, Skag. You know, I'm real tired of your shit, you know that? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, everyone. Uh, <laughs> you see, like, a puddle, almost, of, like, sweat. You can see him visibly, like, there's a dri there's drips of sweat coming off him. He was, he was ready for, like, a show, but he didn't realize, like, he was going to be the show. He thought it'd be, like, a quick thing, like, something to, like, you know, dip no, no, his toes no. in. And now everyone's, like, looking at him. He's not getting stage fright. He just knows that he, there's absolutely no way. He's going to like, you know, reach the expectations of this crowd. Uh huh. So I'm gonna be uh just sort of freestyling for a bit here. Uh, let me know if you know this one. Tell me if you heard this one before, right? Here we, here we go. Play something. <laughs> Says I, that goblin. He's just gonna he's gonna start. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't think I've heard that one before. Hey, shut up, shut up. He's warming up. He's warming up. Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he drops some of his things on. Like half of his rig has just fallen. <laughs> <laughs> he stumbles for the nearest thing he can oh, find God. while still trying to perform any sort of sound out of his instruments. He's like uh, half fallen on the ground. His rig is far too large for him uh, to begin with. Clear, like, roll a perform this. check. Roll a perform check at this point. I want to see how everyone's liking this performance. Uh, I would say everyone's kind of nodding their head, like they, you know, they they don't, they don't, they might not get it, but they feel like they should because he's playing all these instruments at the same time. And he look, they look back at the ring leader, who's also like bobbing his head and tapping his foot, like he's hearing something really good. He's like, Skag, this is, this is pretty good, right?" Uh, I mean, you know, I, I like that you can play all the things. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. He's, he's got something else. He's pulling out something else. All right. He's like sweating so much. <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't know how to play any instruments, so he's just sort of blasting through like what he currently has like near him. That's like anything. And he's yeah. like just looking at the crowd for any sign that there's anyone enjoying the Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so, uh, 
<laughs> we get that you can play them all. Now play a song. <laughs> now this is the song. What's wrong with you, you you uncouth bastard? That's not a song. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, you can see his skin. He's getting like blue. Like he he he's been playing all these instruments and he's forgotten to breathe in between doing it. And he's like he's just completely out of stamina, just like shaking. And <laughs> just, just keep pushing me to play more. <laughs> <laughs> just, just gasping for air. <laughs> uh, make make one more uh, performance check to to wrap up the performance. Uh, you end pretty weak. You end pretty weak. At that point, everyone's kind of looking around. He's not playing. He's just playing. Well, it started really good. I don't know how he's ending it. No, no, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 hey, everybody. All right. Yeah. And he just at that point, he's walking like whispering. He's choking. Oh, my God. And then he just. Hey, that was pretty good, right? Like, you got it. Hey, all right. Yeah, go get. Go. Kid, go take a breather. Just falls off of the stage. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, he got a little excited there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's it's kid. He motions over to Skag. We're like to like get him out. Get, drag him off here. Come on, get him. I'm going. not getting him out. That's yeah, not my you, job. Get, get him off here. Yeah, hey, okay. Uh, pretty good, right? And all the goblins kind of like nod. Like they're not really certain if they liked it. They they were definitely liking something in the beginning, and then it just kept going and they got a little confused at that point the rig leader's like well obviously you all are you know talented and you 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 understand art i mean that's what we're performing here for you and the goblins begin to nod and then one of them just kind of does this <laughs> Woo. Uh, all right well uh we, we gotta we gotta we got another we got another show for you uh here in just a minute get scared you do something. All right. Uh, yeah, next up, uh, Skagzag with the, uh, I don't know, something. All yeah, right. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Just tell yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you all right? At this point, there's the way that a one-man band rig works. There's no way he can get up on his own. Skagzag's going to have to actually pull him up for him to get up right now. He's completely, he's like a turtle on his shell. His legs like wiggling right. in the air. He's completely uh, exhausted. Like, hey, can you play instruments while flying? <sighs> yeah, 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 I can, I can do right. that. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to try to craft the a little like platform out of rock that he can lay on. <laughs> can uh, you can uh, use your mold earth to make a bunch of rocks in a five foot square. Yeah, absolutely. And break yeah, them apart. Okay. All right. All right. Um, at this point, uh, you begin to feel, uh, Clarent, a uh, bunch of rocks and pebbles forming from underneath you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't what worry. The... I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. All right. All right. Um, there you go. Is, uh, is it done yet? Uh, yeah, it just takes a round to do. All right. Now, come on, come on, and see the flying musician. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't really know All what right. I was saying. I agreed yeah, to when you... Just keep doing what you were doing. All right? You're doing great. All right. Am I still... Keep... I think I'm still on my back at this point, right? You're just... Yep. Sort of yep. Just yep. Yep. On my back. All right. <laughs> so, like, I only reach, like, a couple of things on my back. Yeah, just play whatever you can. You're doing great. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna catapult him away. <laughs> so, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, do me a favor and roll a d20 because this is definitely gonna require. Actually, no, you've got spell points, right? How many spell yeah. points do you have? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> well, I will say if you spend all of them, you could do what I think you're about to do. All right, great. Uh, I will. As you do, you, uh, as all of the pebbles from underneath you at this point uh, propel forward as if they were launched on a catapult, with you and your back resting, you are sent flying. Let me see the range. Yep, yep. Uh, you're sent flying about 20 feet this way, and then you go, you fly over the stage and just land. <laughs> You just land in the crowd of goblins who steps 
forward, just like steps aside as you go face first into the swampy dirt. Uh, shoot off a few more uh, fireballs and fireworks <laughs> as beep, you go beep, fly. Beep, um, this goblin, everyone's looking at, <laughs> at Clint now, and this one just goes, Oh, now I get it. And, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you. There he yeah. is, the flying musician. <laughs> um, can you roll a d20 uh, for me, Grandor? Yeah. Okay, you're good. I know you want to roll on that table. That's why I'm giving you the opportunity. Oh, oh, um, right. At this point in time, um, I'm, I'm just putting a pin in that going back here. Um... You all begin to see uh, dancing lights and like fireworks like exploding over uh, behind the the northwest where the stage is at. Uh, what are the three of you currently doing? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at I don't know his name yet, but the little fella. Uh, uh -huh. there. Smallest goblin I'll you've ever seen. Yes, yeah, tiniest goblin. I've tiniest seen. goblin hey, you've ever seen. You are a little fella. Why don't you wake your daddy up and and uh, sell us some of this food? Chisel Daddy? You have lost the eyes for Chisel? No, thank you, no. Scobby friend. <laughs> no, mate, no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant your daddy on the floor. He's no daddy. He's smashed, man. <laughs> I don't... Uh -oh. oh, my God, there's two of them. Fuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> looks at Pickle. Looks at Chisel. <laughs> <laughs> How does this keep happening? Oh no! <laughs> um, um, uh, and then I notice the stuff. And yeah. The the moment you said he's Smash Man, you just see this goblin go. Ah, as he breathes his last breath, he is now dead. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! No, be um, eating tasty fish. You want? Uh, I'd love some, thank you. Did you yeah, I smash one gonna... and give it, I push it towards you. <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up and I'm just not gonna acknowledge watching someone breathe their last breath. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna eat it while Ignorance looking at it the whole time. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, um, frozen, uh, roll a d20, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, you actually eat a succulent uh, puffer fish. <laughs> Mm, yeah, delicious. Um, do you want to go? Do you want to go see the fireworks, little man? Um, uh, it's a big boom in <laughs> Yeah, it's a really big boom. Pickle, what do you think? Uh, Pickle, yes. Uh, she's gonna start climbing onto the warg if she can. Uh, oh Jesus! Make an animal <laughs> handling check. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. <laughs> At that Whoa. point in time, the warg completely understands what you're trying to do and nice. lets out a triumphant howl. You're yeah. going to you're going to need to go ahead and somehow build some sort of saddle to ride this effectively, but you now have the ability to ride this warg as a mount. All right. Jesus Hell Christ. yeah. I'm grabbing onto the fur and I'm uh, I'm looking at Mottle and I look at the back of the warg and I pat a spot for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I am. I am not touching that thing again. Nearly killed me. Um, no, come on, he's little good. man. How do you know he's good? You've known him like five minutes. His family is no kill. No kill. Oh! You have no boundaries. You've known him five minutes. Yes, she's just nodding. <laughs> I don't think you know what I'm saying. And I'm looking at both of them. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. All right, come, come on, you guys. Let's, let's go check out the, uh, the, the, what did you call it? The, the sparks in the sky? No, no. I go <laughs> with. You go with? I go with. Long walk, very most. I don't have enough brain power for this. <laughs> All right, come on then. <clears throat> uh, you want uh, I bring s uh, tasty snack? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love a tasty snack, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you know lusty eyes, Cheezel. Hot strings belong to Upland Chief Dottergob. Slow fix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
How do you, how do you keep interpreting what I'm saying like that? I don't I don't want that from you, fella. I thought you were a, a little gobbo kid. I thought he was your dad. He's, he's I'm mate. not going to acknowledge him. He's mate. She points between the two of you. <laughs> he's mate. No, is no, he... no, no. It's not like that. Is he breathing back there? You hear from the uh, other stand. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Eric, we're in gobbo. He no breathe. Uh, <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, he believes you like, oh, okay. And then he's here, Jesus, go. He no breathe. And he went, yeah, okay. And uh, you just see him do this. He walks back. He's like, oh, God. how you doing, little fella? Hold on one second. He goes underneath the table. He's like, just going to unfasten right. Yep, yeah, right there. And he pulls out what appears to be a little lockbox before he then turns around and oh. goes, you have a good day oh now. God. And then he returns back to his stand. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> you enjoy big jiggly shine. Yeah, you, hey, hey, you know what? You made me a pretty penny kid. If uh, you're interested in some, you know, some enhancements to your, 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 your real, just, wow, just real badass stick over there. I, I got some things for you if you're interested later on. Fish. Wait, don't let you cut oh, off. Gosh. All I heard was fish. <laughs> yeah. See fish, me star. What? I give tasty fish. You, you don't have to give anything. You can keep the fish for all I care. You're so kind and generous. <laughs> and I uh, eat one of the fish. Uh, roll a d20. Actually, you don't have to roll a d20 because you you saved against the poison effect before. Uh, you eat the fish. I, 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 I'm going to roll a d20 just to see if it was poisonous. No, it wasn't. But you're, uh, you're essentially <laughs> immune to the poison, so you could just keep eating the fish all you want. How much does that actually heal? Uh, one hit point. One whole... Awesome. Worth it. Worth yes. our danger. <laughs> One hit Most point. Food. It's not prepared. You smashed it with a stick, and then you just like, mm, and then you just eat it. So, yeah. One hit point. Uh, what about the frogs? How much do those heal for? Uh, it depends on... So, you've got medium rare, medium well, and well done. Uh, well done... I want medium rare. Medium rare will heal for 2d4, but you'll have to roll a d20 as a completely different poison might see. Yep, you're good. You heal for 2d4 hit points. <laughs> So much poison. Hey, that's what I need. We're back in the game. That's just God. That's God. That's Goblin <laughs> Tech right there, baby. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and I cram a few more into my sash, and I hop over the counter and point towards the uh, works of flame. Yeah, <laughs> that's not heading. Um, Pico, while you're riding the warg, your speed is forty. Uh -huh. Oh hell oh. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That crit did it all. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah I am awesome. bonded with this animal for life. In five minutes, you've got a mount. <laughs> yeah. <that's>... yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world of D&D. Uh, so you guys going to head over to the stage now? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll have you guys uh, go over there. Uh, and then, yeah. So at this point, uh, Clarent, you are... Face first in the ground. Uh, what are you doing currently? Sort of like wiggling. I'm trying to get myself up, but like everyone's just watching. And yeah, they, they get happening. it. It was I'm like, like, I'm like on my, I'm still on the ground. I can't like get myself up. There's a lot of hardware on me, you know? So I'm like, help, please, please. Go like, I'm face first in the ground. Yeah, uh, the half ogre goes over and with one <laughs> hand picks, <laughs> picks you up. <laughs> and, and uh, puts you on your feet before oh. patting your head. <laughs> Funny goblin. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. You're so kind. Me, Dungo. Dungo? Dungo. That's a lovely name, Dungo. That's a lovely mm. name. Mm. And he just kind of yeah. walks back at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got much else to say to Dungo. <laughs> <laughs> um... At this point, you see the smallest goblin you've ever seen and another goblin with a pickle jar riding a warg uh, approaching. God damn it. And uh, wherever Benji is, I don't know where Benji is. Uh -oh. Sorry, I, I forgot to move. No, you're good. Um, 
the ringleader just kind of walks up and his eyes open wide at Cheezel. And Pico riding the warg. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome. Well, one and all, uh, you here for the show or you here to join the circus? It's, it's woo -woo -woo Press to imitate firework. <laughs> hey, uh, your sister, is she uh, okay in the head or something? Look at Cheezel. She's fine, fine. Uh. You tongue flaps move quickness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got some good tongue flaps or whatever. So, hey, you want to join the circus, little guy? Oh, you are just the tiniest little thing I've ever seen. Is almost not what I choose. Uh, hey, that's fair. Uh, not, it's, it's, uh, not for all. Hey, uh, what about you? You were like a, like a beast tamer or something? Walks over to Pico. Family points down at the warg. He's what? He's fam family? What do you mean? Like he's your pet or something? Family? He's family. Uh, he's... <laughs> he looks at Jesel like like he's a translator or something. <laughs> <laughs> right brain fruits make good idea. He's family. He opens his eyes, not understanding Cheezel either, and then looks <laughs> over at the smiley goblin behind and uh -oh. said... I, I'm doing the eye emoji. <laughs> like, just looking sideways at it. Uh, I feel like I've been roped into fatherhood. <laughs> Which is not what he wants. What a... Uh, huh? It's all he says to you. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't translate for you, mate. Honestly, I'm a bit confused myself. I thought they, I thought she came from here. That's why I'm here, and I found him here. Uh, he holds. And now his... I feel like I've been roped into something. He holds up his hands like she ain't my daughter. Like, like immediately, like freaking out. Like, oh my God. <laughs> and walks away immediately. Uh, he no want to pick out. He don't want... gestures with her jar. Like, <laughs> I don't think he did. As I if what, think he did. when you say he that, his tongue out at him. When, when you say that, he just says he tries to mutter, mutter under his breath, but does so terribly. Nope. As he walks over, <laughs> uh, Skag, what are you doing now? As you're uh, standing up on uh, the stage after your your grand performance, catapult performance. Uh, I'm just happy that everybody enjoyed the flying musician. Oh uh, yeah, they loved it. I did that act. So now I'm just kind of getting off and going down to see how he is okay uh, i'm sort of I, I i'm banged up i'm definitely banged up i slammed pretty hard i'd say with all the weight on my mm -hmm. character just from all the issues i probably slammed pretty fucking hard in the ground mm -hmm. so i'm a little bit i'm a little cross with him i didn't know that he was going to be throwing me yeah i mean uh, you did a good job look at that i mean it's just like you know, I landed on that, but my instruments is. You, you know how expensive some of these things are? I have no idea how expensive they actually are. <laughs> yeah, you know how expensive some of these things are? You can't put a price on entertainment. I can. It's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was um, a great I, show, kid. You got thanks, some real thanks, talent. Thank you. Thank you. That's real nice of you. So I was wondering, um, is there like a pay involved in any of this? Or did I just sort of like volunteer? Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's for the passion of the craft or whatever. Well, is it, no, but is it actually money, or am I? Did I actually just do all this for the uh, exposure? <laughs> he, he looks at Skag. Well, you mispronounced my name on the stage. There is all. <laughs> so I'm a little bit worried they're gonna be looking for the tunneling clump or whatever you said. My no, name. no, I'm pretty sure I said tumbling clump, and you did tumble, and that's what you did. That, that is, you are right. I did tumble, but I mean, it's just. You know, branding is very important in this day and age. Uh, Skag, how much do I pay you right now? What would you say? I don't know. I not do. I don't do the business. <laughs> you you mean to say I've never paid you before? You've paid me before. It's just you usually just give me the money. All right. Okay. So how about we give half of that to this kid over here? Yeah. Sure. All, All right. right. You're in! And he pats you on the back with no other words. <laughs> what are you... I, so do I pick it up later? Or is this like a, like, what, what, is this going to get mailed to me? We, 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 we pay you... bi-weekly, you know? So you're going to have to be around for a couple of weeks. Well, and then you'll get a paycheck. 
All right, yeah, all right. Clint is actually very happy about this. He just basically got a full-time bar job on his like first <laughs> week of doing it for like for real. You know, so he's like he's like thrilled as a total fraud sham like hack. This is like the best day of his life. Yeah, and once you learn how to actually play the instruments, we won't have to send you flying every show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be great. That'll be great. <laughs> I want to give him a hearty pat on the back. Ah, ah. Like extremely sore. Like this was this was a long fucking fall, and you just hear like the fuck, you hear a bunch of stuff like this dude like stumbles a little bit forward. It's very heavy, top heavy, Clint. Uh, You're gonna be good, kid. He uh, <laughs> I love it. He whispers over to Skagzag. Hey, so we got some uh, real. We got some real talent over there, but they don't seem interested in joining us. I was wondering if you could use your pretty words and, you know, maybe persuade like the dad over there. He's pointing over to to to, to model at that point, and then maybe see if we can like I don't know buy it buy those two off of them. I mean, look at him, and he points over to Cheezel. He's so small. He's so tiny. Imagine the smallest goblin in the world. And then she already knows how to take care of, like, the wargs or whatever. I don't know. She could be, like, a stable boy or something. I don't know. And point over that, uh, at Pickle. Uh, why don't you go over there and, you know, sweet talk him, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, hey, how's it going? Who are you saying that to? <laughs> I don't know, just generally in a... In the, hey, the three of you. <laughs> we all just glare daggers. <laughs> Looking at you, yeah. So, uh... What, what brings you guys to the circus? Pickle, you, uh, you want to explain? Is family? Is uh, food? Delicious food? Yeah, we uh, got good food here, yeah. Mostly that puffer fish guys got good puffer fish. <laughs> oh, we know, mate. We know. Yeah, kind of a dick though. Oh, the worst. Ch fuck, talk to this guy down here. He's a. He, I think he knows him real well. Clint has observed that you guys have gone over there, but he's riding such a high of the first exposure to any sort of attention he's ever received from his art. He's like sort of walking up to like people in the audience, like, what do you, what do you think? He's like trying to get like any fucking compliment <laughs> out of these people. He's like fucking nudging to oh, like. Fuck. <laughs> Did you like that? Was that anything? Was that anything? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was good. It, it was real good. Yeah, like... Awesome, awesome. It's like hard. It's like, not just like fucking awful, awful. Um, <laughs> do, 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 real, real quick, because my, my, my sound, like, completely went out for, like, a few seconds. Um, what, what, right before the magic pickle, what were you guys talking about? Um, uh, okay, uh, was, all right. You just, Jesse just... And, and Eric were, were talking about fish. Okay, just yeah, talking yeah, about fish. Kind of rosy fish. cheeks. Talk about the guy. <laughs> veiny rosy cheeks. Did, ve <laughs> yeah. it, oh, veiny rosy cheeks. Did, did you say anything about killing the guy or no? No. I said uh, that guy is cool. He's kind you of. You want dick, tasty though. fish? That's and it. I <laughs> hand out. Yeah, I hand out the fish from the, you know, from the stall. Oh, there we go. Okay, 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 cool. Sorry, continue. Sorry about that. That's all right. I do, I do parties. I'm like still just sort of following people. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're gonna oh. have to come over here and get me. Yeah, I'm, yeah, at yeah, that I point he's like, hey, this him. guy's a kidder. All right, hey, let's go <laughs> and leave the crowd alone, eh? Yeah. All right, all right. He's just, <laughs> he's just dragging you guys you know, over. Oh my god. How do I turn my guy around? Uh, I have to do it manually, unfortunately. So I'll just. I've been facing that way for a while. I'm yeah, I'll just. I'll, I'll occasionally flip you around. Um. So, yeah, at that point, the uh, the the ringleader goes over to Skag and is like, "Yeah, yeah so they, are they gonna join? Like, what's uh, what's going on? They, they, they seem like nice people." I'm trying to see what they do. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, keep going. Didn't mean to ruin the magic. Hey, wait, hey, wait, wait. Huh? We are. Uh, we need someone that's been injured. What? <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm saying. This guy is like, yeah. oh, anyone, he, he, like just anyone around. I can't see anyone. Uh, he pats the back of uh, uh, of Clarent, and he's like, <laughs> oh, this guy took quite a fall. I, come yeah, in, man. come yeah, in. I took a little bit of a tumble earlier. I'm uh, I'm gonna grab him around the back of the neck with my <laughs> with my uh, inside of my elbow and yank him over to to the wall that Pickle's standing up. <laughs> Who are you? What is that? Come here, come here, Mike. Like, Check this out. You're gonna feel so much better. <laughs> Pickle, uh, 
Pickle starts unscrewing her pickle jar. Boss! Boss, With her eyes it? closed, plunges her fist in and grabs a pickle. <laughs> pickle! He's, he's... And she's on the warg, so she's at a high enough place. <laughs> Um, so the pickle in his mouth. <laughs> don't know what this is. The ringleader's just nodding that let that Jack oh Nicholson my. gif nod like yeah. Oh Alright. She's trying to force feed you a pickle. <laughs> can I like restrain him? Still? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If he's fighting it, you can totally restrain him. Pickle boarding him, it's fine. It's pickle. It's supposed to be pickle boarding. <laughs> he downs the pickle. I just eat the pickle. Uh, he downs it <laughs> swallow. Okay. Uh, do, do your thing. Okay. Um, what was it again, Brett? Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, oh. cat, cat, <laughs> cast, cast. Uh, <laughs> we know in our people. We cat, don't know our people. Cast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cast cure wounds. Okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, you Is heal for eight, eight mm -hmm. life as you consume the pickle. Your wounds just. Your aches and pains just magically go away. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I definitely saw you cast something. I don't know if that was. No, he's pickle. magic pickle. It's magic pickle. He like squeezes by, and he's like, well, "Hang on now, hang on. You got? You mean to tell me you got magic pickles?" She's but, gonna clutch the jar to her chest and kind of turn away from him and say, "Hmm." Oh, the, the, mate, mate, mate! Don't get any funny ideas. The pickles are only magic if she's using them. It's something that she does with the brine, I think. Oh. They taste fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good for you. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah so she's great. like half pickle healer, half warg tamer. I mean, that's she pretty. Many is, there, talents, is there a but... limit to these pickles in this jar, or is this just sort of like a Schrodinger's pickle sort of thing? Uh, I, I, I think they refresh on a long rest. I think it was, right, Brett? So, So how it works is you stick your arm in the jar to the bride. <laughs> well, this is what you... So this is... I thought she just healed you with her hands. No. And I'm finding out that these are real fucking hands. Yeah, yeah. So so essentially what... <laughs> so what you saw... At this point. What you saw mm -hmm. was she put her arm in the jar her fist was in the brine and then a pickle just magically manifested in her hand she pulled out the pickle fed it to you and the pickle then healed so you so this is like an impenetrable brine this is like you can't see through the jar like this is a this is a it's solid, I mean, I mean, you, murky, murky, oh you see the jar you saw cloudy she had murky, murky like, one cloudy moment did. she had no pickle and then next moment <laughs> she had pickle yeah. <laughs> uh, you feeling better I mean, yeah, but like emotionally, I'm not. I'm not so sure. <laughs> hey, 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 just, <laughs> just grabbed me. I push it back. Just I'm, push it back. You'll be fine. You get used to it. I'm gonna it's whisper right. it as a, uh, mate. It gets easier. They're, they're really good for you, but it, they're fucking awful. <laughs> How many have you had? I mean, I, I must have had a couple by now, but. Honestly, I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she's not run out. I've never seen her buying any pickles. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Oh well, God. we got the pickle girl, uh, the uh, piney guy, and then uh, what do you do? What, are you gesturing towards me? Yeah, you. Uh, I'm going to grab my jacket with two hands and kind of flex the collar. <laughs> I'm more of like the talking man. Uh, uh, I'm a killing man. I can kill. Uh, I can name. Uh. <laughs> uh, if you need if you've got any bounties or anything like that. The ring I leader just kind of like backs up a little bit like, oh, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> I only I only kill bad people. Oh, so like a bodyguard. Yeah, like a bodyguard or a merc. Yeah, all I got, uh, all I got is Dungo over here. He's not much for communication. I, I was actually open to hire one or two more bodyguards if you know maybe I'd be a little interested in that. Well, if you need a bodyguard with a bit more savvy, uh, I'm your guy. I mean, I'm a thinking man. I'm gonna say that while picking my ear. Uh, with my finger. <laughs> Honestly, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I could. I've got it all, to be honest, mate. And I'm just like looking at it and flicking it off. Yeah, you, you, you cool sharing a tent with this guy? And he just motions over to Dungo. Uh, it better be a big tent. <laughs> That's uh, uh, it's pretty good. Two tens. He's, yeah, two. He, he's trying. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And uh, right. yeah, I'm in. Oh, oh, all right. Hey, hey, good. And uh, the, what about the the? Hey, talk to the tiny one a little bit. Let's see what he wants. He he, he, messages, he uh, says that to. Uh, he whispers that loudly over to Skagzag. What? Yeah, what about the little guy? 
What about him? Is, is he in? I don't know. Hey, uh, <laughs> tiny guy, you in? No tiny guy, Jesus! Yeah, cheese, you in? No cheese! Cheese L! Cheese. Cheese L. Alright, yeah, you wanna join the circus, kid? <laughs> oh, Rosy Cheeks! You ask me to be frenzies? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey! Dumb friend, but oh, I have to bang smash the big folk, yes? Yeah. He shrugs. <laughs> Listen. You, yes? Yeah. It's bang smash? Yeah, yeah, sure. big smash. Whatever yeah. you want. Just join the, you're going to join the circus with your friends. Yes. Sheasel attacks the big guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Roll and do an attack roll. Uh, do I have to roll initiative or just attack? Just, uh, we'll do an attack first. Okay. With a <laughs> crit. Oh <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll take that nine plus six. Thank you very much. <laughs> you immediately. Well knock him unconscious as he falls down to the ground. <laughs> oh my god. He's in! He's in! Oh boy! You, you're in! Oh my god, you're the best! Oh my god! Oh, wow! And he pats you on the back. <laughs> yes! You have lost the ice for Jesus! It's okay! Right brain fruits, no truth! Uh... Yeah? <laughs> he says... He, like, shrugs a little bit. <laughs> it, yeah, and he looks at... He looks at Skagzag with this, like, look of just absolute piercing fear. Like, it's it's fear, but it's also, like, a great interest. Like, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's it's a lot of... What, what's... Uh, Skag, what is your... Uh, like, what's your emotion right now? Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I've never seen anyone knock him unconscious. Yeah. So I'm just like, whoa! Not bad! <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I still need him, so uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and see if I can get him up. Hey, that was pretty good! Hey, why don't you just give him a pickle? Ah! 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 Give him a pickle! And he just runs over <laughs> to, <laughs> to Pikel. Give him a pickle! It's, it's no abuse, Kikos. Nope, nope. Special occasion only. Yeah, yeah, special yeah. occasion. Special he's occasion. not thinking anymore. Yeah, he's dying. No, 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 no. What she means to say is, you got gold. <laughs> Ooh, we have to pay for mine and post it. Something. What do you mean gold? Oh fuck. We need some money if we're gonna help you. Oh, that's a shakedown, man. No, I could respect that's, that. It's not a shakedown. It's, it's an it. amicable transaction. Yeah, yeah. He's dying <laughs> back there, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and talk money. All so, right. So how much you thinking? I'm looking at Pickle and thinking, well, she's uh, she's very special. You see these pickles, they're blessed by the gods. So it's quite expensive. There's yeah, not we, many in there. There's only like one or two. Yeah, so over. like one gold? Does one gold work? No, that's, a, that's about, and then I'm remembering back to how much the ward costs. That's about <laughs> five gold pieces, actually, wow. for a pickle, yeah. He just looks at you and he's like, how about I, 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 I give you an advance in your pay? How much? The, the five gold? I'll take it. Thank you. All <laughs> right. Hand, grab your one hand with two hands. Really, really <laughs> eager. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Can you feed him the pickle before he croaks? Oh, All right. Go on, pickle. <laughs> She's going to call up the morgue. Pickle jar in hand. Uh, make her way over to... Uh, Big guy, mm -hmm. pull out another pickle and feed it to him. Are you just gonna like dunk it in his big mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just pushes it through his like teeth, the slots in his teeth. <laughs> he uh, sits down and he looks at the tidy goblin and then just goes <gasps> and he like, just, like scrambles back a little bit, <laughs> now completely frightened of Cheezel. Yeah, Chisel walks up to him and, uh, like, very quietly says, 
You follow me. I go, Chief, now. <laughs> yes. Roll. Hmm. Roll a charisma check. All right. Just stay straight. My. All right. Yeah, this would be great. <laughs> oh, that's a charisma save. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. We can do. Happens all the time. We can do that if I click the right thing. There it is. Oh. <laughs> he uh, he looks at you for a moment and gives you a nod, an understanding. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's smart choice. <laughs> uh, you you now have a companion that's gonna follow you into battle. <laughs> Oh I, cl I clamber up his body and sit on his shoulders. Oh my god. You now have a mount. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Uh, too fun. Um, <laughs> as, as you guys are uh, talking with each other, you hear just this screeching yelling from south as a goblin um, just immediately rushes over. Ah, 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 ah. Human! He screams humans at the pitch of his lugs. At that point, everyone begins scrambling in fear, knowing one that it could only mean one thing, that some abled adventuring hotshot is about to step through here and wantonly kill goblins for mm. whatever reason they want to because humans are bad, icky, nasty people. Um... The circus begins to break up and everyone begins to scramble in a bit of a panic. And what do you all do? We'll have to find out at session one of Goblins of Io. Woo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo! Woo! I pick up my room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I actually like lost my mouthpiece. From my oh no. <laughs> it fell somewhere. <laughs> No, I, I threw it to like grab my bongos off the ground and they just like <laughs> broken half somewhere. 